The Warren Fire Department just got some new eyes in the sky with a new set of drones. They are the first city in Macomb County with this new technology. The department says the drones will allow them to investigate large fire scenes and hazmat situations without putting first responders lives at risk. 7 Action News reporter Whitney Burney is in Warren giving us a look at how it works and where the department has already put the technology to use. The fire department here in the city of Warren has been using drone technology since 2022 on emergency and non emergency scenes. With the addition of their new drones, they're hoping to attack those same scenes, but making it safer for firefighters. At least a few times a week, Warren resident William Denardi makes it a priority to take walks along Bear Creek just behind his home. So I was used to being up in Carroll, Michigan. And I could come out and see the woods and everything as when the deer out here in the morning and raccoons, just all the wildlife. Mm -hmm. It's like being in the country again. But a little more than a week ago, the water in the creek looked like this. My Did sister was telling it? me something about like I saw a green puddle or something in the water. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe it was just some algae or something. The city soon discovered the discoloration was a result of a chemical spill, which has since been contained. And thanks to technology like this, Investigators say they were able to quickly trace the possible origin of the spill to an unoccupied industrial facility. So this one is made for more being at a distance. This is made for being close up and personal. This we could use for many, many things. The drone is one of 11 the Warren Fire Department received last week and has already put to work. A game changing $80,000 investment greenlit by the mayor and city council that allows fire crews to investigate and interact with unstable buildings and hazmat situations without going directly into the danger. This one, just for going indoors, uh, the features on this that we like is that it can bump into an object and still fly. All these others, if I bump into it, it will crash. Mm -hmm. This one has the ability to bump into things, to hit the ceiling, to hit the floor, and to keep going. Chief Safety Officer Jeff Middleton says with the drones, his team was able to cut the amount of time it took to identify the source of that chemical spill from three hours to one. He says this kind of advance can mean saving a life. In the, our future, we were talking about the other day that you're going to see a drone float above the scene for everything we go on automatically, that as they deploy uh, fire engines and ambulances, we're going to have an eye in the sky. In Warren, Whitney Burney, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Whitney.